hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we're going to be learning how to make this skirt that i posted on my page a few days back and it's the maxi mesh skirt so the materials you'll need are a measuring tip a darning needle a pair of scissors and any fingering yarn fingering weight so um i'm going to be using robin 100 percent acrylic and you can see it's really thin and we want our mesh to come out very thin because it's a micro mesh look so the hook that i'll be using will be a 3.25 millimeter pressure hook which is a d hook and yeah let's get started Um, so the first thing that you're going to have to do is to measure the widest part of your hips So for me, I'll be considering a measurement of 40 inches because that's uh, the usual measurement for most of my clients around 40 So this will be for a medium size This is the widest part of the hips 40 inches and let's begin now You're going to grab your 3.25 hook and your yarn and you're going to start off with a slip knot and you're going to make a chain of 14 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 and this is going to be the thickness of our waistband we are working this project from top to bottom so we have our 14 chains here and you're going to go into the third chain from the hook so we don't count this as a chain we count um, we have a chain here so one two three and into the fourth chain you're going to go in with a double crochet and continue to double crochet into each and every chain all the way across So I'm in the very last chain and I'm placing my last double crochet and this chain three at the beginning counts as a stitch. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve double crochets all the way across. So that marks the end of row one. We're going to row two and you're going to chain up three which counts as a stitch. Turn your work. And since this counts as a stitch, you're going to prepare for a double crochet and go into the next stitch with a double crochet. And continue to place one double crochet into each double crochet. So at the end of row two, you're going to have the same number of stitches as row one, which is 12 double crochets. So don't forget to go into the very last stitch which is this one on top of the chain three make sure you go into that space and place a double crochet so you should have 12 double crochets at this point and now we're going to chain up three for row three and we're going to repeat the same exact thing as row two so make sure you have a total number of 12 double crochets all the way across and we are going to keep repeating this until we have a very long waistband that stretches to our hip measurement that we got at the beginning of the video. So if you have 40 inches as me, 
uh, make sure this strand, this uh, band, can stretch to 40 inches. You're going to keep working, chain three turn, until you have uh, this waistband measuring the widest part of your hips when stretched. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back when I have that measurement. So I did a total of 67 rows in order to achieve the measurement that I wanted. So let me show you. I'm folding it over so I have to get a total of 20 on this side when stretched because my total was 40. So it's 15 when not stretched, but when fully stretched, it can go up to 20. So you can see that it can go up to 20 inches when fully stretched. So that's what you want to do. And uh, when you achieve your widest uh, hip measurement, you're going to fold over your work. So I have this, this is my very last row. You're going to just bring this side to this side. And we are going to make a simple uh, single crochet row. So I know the light is very bright. So I'm going to go into my very first stitch here. And I go into the first stitch on the other side and make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next. So we are joining the waistband to form a circular loop. So I'm going into my very last stitch with a slip with a single crochet, sorry. And at this point, this is what we have. And the side where you've worked your single crochet row is the wrong side of your work. So we are now going to turn our work to the right side. The right side should look like this. And we are going to chain up six so one two three which counts as a double crochet and then the next three counts as three chains so one double crochet chain three and then you're going to go in between these two rows sorry i'm going to be working on this side because it's easier to see these spaces where to place the stitches but when you're on the right side it's not that clear but any can work so let me work on the right side fine so you're going to go in between these two rows and place a double crochet okay like that and then you're going to chain up three go in between the next two rows so this one and this one the space is here and place a double crochet chain three Place a double crochet in between the next two rows. So this one and this one, you go in between there. You find a spot that's in between the stitches. In between the rows, sorry. And we are going to continue this all the way around. Chain three. Plus one double crochet in between the rows. So I'm coming to the end of my very first row of mesh and I've placed my last double crochet in this stitch. I'm going to chain up three and I'm going to go into the third chain. So one, two, three. And I'm going to make a slip stitch there. 
so we're going to row two and for row two you're going to slip stitch into this next chain and slip stitch into the next one which is the middle one because we have three chains so you've slip stitched into the first and the second and we have one more chain left and you're going to chain up six which counts as a double crochet chain three and you're going to go into the middle chain of this uh, of the three chains and place a double crochet there chain three go into the middle chain and place a double crochet into that chain chain three double crochet into that middle chain and you're going to repeat that all the way around until the end of your row. So I've made it to the end of row two of mesh and I'm going to chain up three and I'm going to count to the third chain from the base. So one, two and three and into the third chain we are going to go in there with a slip stitch. So that marks the end of row two. We are going to repeat row two until we have the length of the skirt that we want. So I'm going to keep working until I have the length that I want for my skirt and I'll be letting you know how many rows that I did and then we work the edging. Alright, so I did a total of 52 rows and this is how the mesh came out. You can see it's very light and flowy and yeah, that's why I chose a fingering weight yarn instead of like a medium weight so this can be very light and good for the beach and swim swimwear cover up so uh, after doing my 50 second row I'm now going to be doing the edging and for the edging you're going to chain up three after your slip stitch you'll chain up three and place a total of nine double crochets in this same space. So this is one. Sorry, they are supposed to be ten. So this is one and nine more. So one, two, I'm just going into the space. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine one and ten so i have my ten double crochets in this space so i'm going to skip over the next space and place one single crochet in the next and then one single crochet in the next then you're going to chain up three and place nine more double crochets in that same space So after your nine double crochets here, you're going to skip over the next space, single crochet into the next, and single crochet into the next. And then chain up three and place nine more double crochets in the same space. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. This will create an edging of scallops. Alright, so this is how your edging will look like. I'm going to go all the way around doing this and then uh, we shall see how the final skirt looks like and then we shall go back to the waistband to do the final touches. Okay, so I'm still working my scallops all the way around. I've worked from this side and I'm almost coming to the end of my round. I'm placing my very last scallop in this space.
So I've just placed nine double crochets in this space. And I'm going to skip this, uh, this next box and I'll go into the next space with a single crochet. And then I'll go into the next space, which is this one with a single crochet. And then I'll slip stitch into this space and then chain up one and cut my yarn. So that marks the end of the scallop round. And let me show you how that looks like. To create these pretty scallops at the base of our skirt. And the next thing that we are going to do is to um, put a drawstring in the waistband. Of our skirt so so far we have this and remember I told you the place where you joined your single crochet row that's the wrong side of our skirt and this is the right side so place your skirt on the right side this is the exact middle but the back side of our skirt and you're going to identify where you want your just string to come out you're going to make a very long chain that's going to act as the dress string and this time i'm going to be using a double strand because i want my chain to be a bit thicker so you can decide to do about like uh, 200 chains So let me go ahead and do that and then I'll meet you back at the end of this chain. Make a chain of 200 to 250 chains. So I have my chain ready and I'm going to chain up one and I cut my yarn. You're going to leave kind of like a, a long strand at the end of this side because I want to put it through my darning needle. So this is what we have. And you're going to identify that point where you want your drawstring to come out. So I'm just eyeballing. This must be the exact middle. And I'm going to go in and out of every row, but leaving two stitches on the edges. So in and out leaving two stitches on the edges of each row like that in out through the next row in out like that and you're going to do this all the way around your waistband this is going to help us gather the waist area together to get a better fitting for our skirt so that it's not sagging around the waist area because we considered the hip measurement while working on the waistband so definitely when it gets to the upper waist it's going to be a bit loose so that's what we are trying to avoid. So I've gone all the way around and uh, you're going to leave a few stitches in between. So let me do that one last time. And I've left a little gap between the two strings. So I'm going to evenly distribute this chain throughout the waistband of my skirt. Okay, I think this is perfectly fine. So the use of this string is to, it's called a dress string. So once you pull it like this, it will be able to grab your waist uh, to get a better fitting for your skirt. So yeah, 
this is me just distributing it around evenly and then this will tie a knot at the front of your skirt like this and at the end you can attach tassels if you want you can put beads you can put any accessory you can put shells I'm just giving you ideas of how you can finish up your strings but for my skirt I put tassels and they were perfectly fine and yeah that marks the end of this tutorial I hope you guys liked it give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in my next video bye